Hello, I'm continuing to grade photos in 3D LUT Creator. In this video, I will tell you what's behind Speedy Grade function that allows you to extract curves in 3D LUT Creator. This awesome feature allows you to transfer the tint from the images you like to other photos. Transferring a tint is one of the ways to bring contrast and color of your photos to the photos you like. I have this image for today. Here is a young man who sits against the background of the coat of arms of the USSR. This is why I chose color photographs from the times of the USSR as references. To open the reference load window, I press Ctrl, Shift, R. Here are my references. They all have low resolution, but it is more than enough for color analysis. For convenience, I press Ctrl-1 to see the photo in original resolution. I'm going to turn on the comparison mode by pressing the C key to see the reference and my image side to side. So let's see how the curve extraction function works using these photos as an example. In 3D LUT Creator, curves are transferred automatically, but I will show you step by step how this happens. First, the program builds curves that make the reference image neutral. This is called degrade option. To show how this works, I swap the reference and my image by pressing Alt equals. I turn off the comparison mode by pressing C. And then again, I press Ctrl-1 to view the photo in original resolution. In 3D LUT Creator, there are several methods to bring the image to a neutral look. I will tell you briefly about each of them. The average method calculates the average color of all pixels present in the image for each brightness range. I click Degrade button. And that's what happened. How can I influence the number of brightness ranges? In other words, how to affect the accuracy of the curves. Accuracy is set in the program settings. Quick jump to the settings, keyboard shortcut, Control T. On the tab with the main settings, there is Degrade Points drop-down list. If the number of points for degrade curves is small, then the curves can be inaccurate. On the other hand, with a large number of points, the curves can turn out to look like sharp stairs. However, the curves can always be smooth. This is done using the Smooth button. So the average method takes into account the color of all pixels of the image. So if any color prevails on the image, it will affect the shape of the curves. In this case, the average method coped well. Let's load another image. I press Ctrl O. For example, if you load such a picture, the average method will not cope with it. After I press Degrade, the picture looks unnatural. Smoothing curves improves the situation, but not in the way I would like. What do I do in this case? It is necessary to use degrade methods that do not take into account the ratio of colors. Let's consider them in more detail. The min-max-mid method does not take into account the proportion of colors, but takes into account the variation of colors by hue in each measured brightness range. The following min-max-mid-2 method does take into account neither the proportion of colors nor the variation of colors by hue in each measured brightness range. Here's how it works. The next method is min-max. In this method, the color assessment is based on the variation of colors at a certain brightness, but taking into account the maximum possible variation. That is, the average value between the minimum and maximum values of each channel is taken, and then it is reduced to neutral. That's what happens. The next method is min-max-average. In this method, the average range of maximum and minimum color deviations relative to the neutral for each channel is calculated. Let's see how it works with this image. There are also the red, green, and blue methods, in which the corresponding image channels are taken as the monochrome base. This is how the red method works. That's the green one. That's the blue one. The last method is equalize. In this method, the channel's histogram is aligned to the plane to bring the image to a neutral view. Let's compare the histograms. I press F7 and the analyzer window opens up. This is how the source image histogram looks like. It can be seen that the channels are different. And this is what a histogram looks like after degrade in the equalize method. So which method should you choose? You should choose the method that most naturally brings the image to a neutral look. In this case, I like the min-max the most. So when the degrade curves are found, they are inverted and applied to our image. 
I click on the Invert button. Inverted degrade curves on the contrary enhance the tint. It remains to swap the reference and my image. I press Alt equal and then Control 0 to see the whole photo. That's what happened. Compare before, after. I press equal to see the reference in the comparison window. Here is before, here is after. I hope the principle of curve extraction is clear. Let me show you how to do the same thing in one click. I will reset the settings. The required degrade method has already been selected. The reference has been loaded. Now I just click on the grade button. Done. If your image already has a tint, then it should be degraded to a neutral look before using extracted curves. To do this, you just need to click on the inverted import button and leave it active. In my case, there is no tinting on the original image, so it is not necessary to bring it to a neutral form. Auto grading with extracted curves works fine, but sometimes we cannot always adequately assess how well the curves were extracted from our reference image. After all, in addition to tinting, it can still contain color harmony, especially when your references are film prints like the ones that I have. Let's now go back to our image and check it out. I press Ctrl Shift R to load the reference. I choose the first one. My grading method is the average. That's what happened. I'm going to smooth the curves a bit. Here's before, and here is after, I apply the tint. I will load the next reference from the folder. I press Alt, Shift, right arrow on the keyboard. Again, I select the average. That's what happened. Compare before and after. The results look quite good. But what if this is not really the tint that is in my reference? I will reset the settings, swap my image and the reference, and I will try to degrade the reference in various ways. I'll start with the average method. Compare before and after. Shadows turned out even colder. Let's try the other methods. Here's what I need. Shadows and highlights became neutral. Here's before, here is after. I will use this method to apply tint to my image. I will swap pictures and invert the curves. Let's compare. The differences are quite insignificant. Therefore, decide for yourself, either you transfer the tint correctly, or you judge it by the result you get and use other methods. In this case, the average method also works pretty well for my image, but there is a certain color harmony in this photo, and it was also transferred along with the tint. It's up to you to decide what is good or bad. I load the next reference. Now, let's look at the result. I like the min-max average method. Let's check it out. I will swap pictures and bring the reference to a neutral look. Here is what I need. Black looks black, gray remains gray, so I was not mistaken in choosing this method. Here is before, here is after. Now I grade my image. Here is before and after applying the tint. That's all. Now you will have a much better idea of how the curve transfer function works in 3D LUT Creator and which curve transfer method you should use. And remember, if your image contains highly saturated colors, they should be desaturated before applying the curves. See you in the next video. Bye everyone!